In today's video, I want to break down a little mini scheme, just a little bit of a, a mini guide here on a couple of route combinations and running plays that you can use out of the strong close formation in the West Coast playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my channel before, I just want to encourage you. Basically, what I do is I post Madden 21 tips and tricks videos that are designed to help you get better at the game. And so that can mean a lot of things. But what I hope you walk away with today is some type of uh, just food to chew on, some type of uh, maybe something, some route combination or route concept or running play um, that I share today will help you get better at Madden 21. So I'm excited to jump in. And if you want to get updates to our latest videos i want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen all right guys so the first thing i want to do is i want to show you the runs and then we're going to show you a pass off of the runs so first and foremost the strong close is really really good this year um of course as we start out with a negative five yard run um the running game is really really good this year because of the fact that you can get very very good penetration in the middle of the field you can run two specific runs that i want you to try out the first run is the halfback dive. Halfback dive is really, really hard to stop because of the push that you get on the line of scrimmage. You're going to be able, from strong close, you're going to be able to oftentimes run this dive for consistent four to five yards every single time. There's really not a whole lot that they can do. The second type of run that I want you to try out is the HB zone weak. And what you'll find with zone weeks, uh, what, what you'll find with the zone weak run this year is from strong close, it's actually really, really good especially against a lot of the meta defenses that people are going to do against you to try to stop it now what makes the, the the zone weak so good is the fact that you can cut it back to the right hand um or to the right or to the left with a with a double juke so i'm going to double juke in the backfield it's going to allow me to get a nice cut back lane and it's going to kind of glitch out the defense a little bit and just kind of allow them to over pursue you to the right side of the field now halfback off tackle is basically their version of stretch and you can see here it's still a very very good run um very, very good run, as you can see right there. Now, you can playmaker to this run to the right or to the left. Or actually, I'm not sure if you can playmaker to the left. Let me see here. Let me double check. Yeah, you can't playmaker to the refs, left, so you can only run stretch to the right. But the zone weak, the zone weak is very, very underrated, in my opinion. Uh, the zone weak, you'll see here, if I run to the, le to the left, I can actually cut it all the way back to the right. And that's what makes it so good, is if you have good stick and good double juke, you can cut this run all the way back across the grain to the right side of the field. Now, it doesn't mean it's not going to work to the left side as well. You're still going to be able to run this to the left side. And I actually like to use um, double jukes to kind of set my running lanes up. And as you see there, we're able to get out and we're able to rock and roll. So strong close this year is really, really good because the running game is, is slowly improving every single patch. I feel like the running game gets more powerful. Now, the quick toss is actually really good this year uh, from strong close. It's actually viable. Last year, I felt like it wasn't really that opportunistic this year if you run if they are kind of selling out to stop your dive if you run the quick toss you're going to find that this play let your blockers get outside of you but it's actually really really effective especially with good stick and with good double jukes the trick to remember when running the ball is to not hold turbo until you see the lane that you want to run to and then go to it and as you can see with the jukes are unreal this year so if you're able to get a good juke animation you can be going to the house like i just did as well now i want to share one one specific passing concept that I think you're going to really like, and that is the wide trail. Um, the wide trail is a very, very effective passing concept. And the reason that it's so effective is because a lot of times what people will do to take away the run is they're going to basically take away the safeties. They're going to either put the safeties on blitzes or spies or whatever. Well, Devontae Adams' route, what you're going to see is his route is actually going to get a nice outside positioning against man-to-man -man coverage oftentimes, especially if they press or if they shade coverage. So what I'm talking about is his route, because he's got route technician, he's going to get fast cut so you have a slant route a trail route and a quick route to Mercedes Lewis now what I like to do with this play is I like to take the running back out of the right side and just put him on a swing route that way if they blitz me I can oftentimes get the ball out to the running back and I have two two players running the ball to the right side of the screen it's really really effective against zone let me show you zone real quick this is this route against zone just let him get out there just a little bit and you see he's gonna have a lead blocker able to get up field you know should anything come his way Another thing that you're going to be able to do off of this, though, 
is if they go man-to-man, -man, well, you got your slant route right over the middle of the field to Marquez Valdez Scantling. Slant routes are very, very effective this year. What you can also do with this route is you can motion via MVS out. As you see right here, I motion him out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to motion him back in and snap the ball as he's starting to set his feet. This is going to give him a nice unbumpable animation on the outside, and it will oftentimes get him more open against man-to-man. -man. The next thing that you can do with this play, uh, like I said, they're oftentimes are going to be taking their safeties away. So they're going to be spying them or something like that. Well, if you got a step on the over the top of the defense here, you're either going to have this slant route to MBS or you're going to have that little trail um, little trail route to your tight end, or you're actually going to have your um, your uh, wide receiver on the left side uh, available to beat the man-to-man -man coverage. So if they're running press man-to-man -man coverage, a lot of people are running bench press and things like that. If they try to press him, you're going to see he's going to get off the press, just lob it up over the top, click on, and then oftentimes you're going to be able to get a nice user catch uh, against any of that the defense might do. So that route um, specifically is, is a little bit of a little bit of a tricky route but once you get the hang of throwing this thing it's actually you can actually click onto it um and oftentimes we'll be able to use or catch that route but uh, i would run that route with your fastest wide receiver uh put your fastest wide receiver there but that's really more of a pull route it's a route like for example if they run tampa 2 like if they run zone on you you can pass lead that to the left side and you see here i can get it up the seam against that cover two defense i can also do that against man to man if i get that press win animation if i don't get a press win animation it's oftentimes a little bit harder but you'll see against zone this this route's actually really really effective you can click on you can make some user plays but overall guys the strong close i just wanted to highlight this this year it's a really really good running formation it gets a lot of things accomplished for your offense and it can really combine itself to be a very effective uh, formation when you actually consider the fact that it's a two by two, which means that it's going to allow you to audible to I form. It's going to be able to audible to strong pro. There's all sorts of these other formations that you're going to be able to have access to just from running the strong close out of the West Coast playbook. So in my opinion, this is a great playbook this year, the West Coast. It's more of a balanced playbook, I think, than it's ever been. There are so many good running plays from it. I highly, highly encourage you to try out this halfback off tackle. I feel like the halfback off tackle has gotten better in every single patch, every single update. As the run game improves, I want to encourage you to check out the strong close. But anyways, guys, real quick before we take off, I just want to encourage you, if you have not already join our texting membership it's pretty simple to do all you have to do is text me my number is at the top left of every video that i do and it's 812-216-3644 and basically what i want you to do is i just want you to send me a personal text let me know that you'd like to get signed up for the texting membership it's 100 percent free to get signed up for it all it does all you have to do is shoot me a text and then what's going to happen is from that point I am going to be sending out every single Monday a video that is basically privated to everybody except for people that have signed up for the texting membership. So I'm going to text out the link to all of you guys on Mondays. And that video is going to be kind of an exclusive tip, exclusive tactic of the week. Whatever the meta is or whatever I see the big shift is going to be or whatever I see, you know, kind of an in-depth pro tip um, discussion video, maybe a little bit longer of a video um, than our average tip link just because we're trying to kind of really take your game to the next level and so if you want to get access to that video again all you have to do is text me be sure to jump in the discord that link is in the description of this video and we also have our madden 21 competitors guide on sale as well if you haven't picked those up those are in the description we'll see it on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time